Let's just really talk about how easy it is to give yourself the most amazing silk press from home. Let's get into it. First, I'm starting off with my deep cleansing hair bath. It is a hair detox, good for getting rid of all dirt, grime, and oil products and all of that. And you want to follow up with my milk and honey oat shampoo, which is step two. And after that's fully rinsed out, I'm going in with my deep conditioner, my repair treat. On my last silk press video, you guys were asking, do you rinse this out? You absolutely have to rinse this out. This is a deep conditioner, but it is also a built-in heat protectant. But yes, you do want to rinse this out. And you can see that I'm only applying this to my mid shaft and ends. I'm not putting it on my scalp because I don't want my hair to get weighed down and I'm just making sure that each section is fully saturated with my repair tree. I also want to take this time to just tell you guys thank you so much for everyone that has been trying to support my hair product line Healthy MF and Hair. I am in the middle of rebranding. I've been trying to rebrand for the past year and it seems like every time I try it's always a hiccup but I'm happy to announce the rebrand is on the way. Okay, back to this. Being that it's the winter months, well, not winter months, but y'all know it's getting colder. I'm gonna be using a steamer on my hair. The steamer helps keep the moisture and hydration in your hair and i got this off of amazon i've had this for about two years it's amazing i love it and i will leave the link down below during this process i did leave my deep conditioner the repair treat on my hair to steam the entire time and then i rinsed it out okay after you rinse out your hair you want to section your hair into fours I did do some slight cleaning around my house because I don't like to really blow dry my hair when it's soaking, soaking wet. As you can tell in the background, I got my whole wall wet from me taking a shower, but don't even worry about that part. Okay, now you wanna unravel the section that you wanna start blow drying first. I like to start in the back for some reason. I don't know, it just seems easier to me. And my hair is a little damp, okay? So you wanna take your FHI blow dryer. It is on high heat. I'm using my Olivia Garden powder brush and I'm starting with the ends. As you guys can also see, I'm not putting the blow dryer directly on my hair. This is a part of the process. A lot of tension is required for this. So basically what you're doing is you're taking your powder brush and you're stretching the hair. You're stretching your hair, you're stretching your roots, you're pulling the powder brush down as y'all can see, like how I'm doing on my roots, I'm pulling the petal brush down and making sure that that heat is able to stretch my hair as far as possible. This is not causing heat damage. This is not causing straggly ends. This is a part of the silk press process though. This is the best way to make sure that your silk press looks like you got it done in the salon. I only use the powder brush every single time. I don't like to use that comb blow dryer because it really damages the hair when you're raking it through. And this just really gives a smooth, soft finish from root to end and not just the ends. Cause you know how sometimes when you would use the comb blow dryer, it, it would really just get on the middle and the ends kind of straight, but the roots would be still puffy you don't want that after each section is dry you want to go in with the nano titanium i am using the one inch it's my favorite flat irons at least one of my favorites and i'm just going to go in and take kind of thinner sections to make sure that it's super straight because i have not had a silk press in a while and i want to make sure that this is going to last I really want to make it my mission to make sure that each one of you that watch my videos understand how healthy hair really works and not to be misled by numbers and gimmicks and all of these quick, you know, little hacks that come around. That's another reason why I created my product line Healthy MF and Hair. And I'm just so excited for you guys to see this new look. We have a whole new look with even better quality. We have not changed up some of your favorites, but we are adding a couple more favorites to the steps and the system, and it's just gonna be epic. So make sure that y'all look down below and sign up for my VIP text list so that you can be on the list to get it first before anybody else. And when I say anybody, I mean anybody. No one else is gonna have dibs like this. You're gonna be first in line. One of my tricks with this is really sectioning. When you tell your hair what to do, it will do what you want it to do. 
Meaning when you're trying to flat iron your hair, don't just, you know, have your hair all over the place. Take your time, section it. Make sure, you know, your parts are even with the other parts. Section off the back and really do what you want it to do because you're going to get frustrated if your hair is unorganized or if your tools are unorganized or if, you know, the steps that you're taking are unorganized. So just make sure that when you're doing this at home, that you stay focused and that you have an organized environment. Okay, I was looking at my ends and I was like, listen, honey, you need to go ahead and get a trim trim. But I was kind of in a rush. So I was like, let me just go ahead and shape the front of my hair because that's really the front is really what people will see first. So I just went in and did a little bit of face framing. I don't recommend that y'all do this at home. I mean, if you want to, then you can. But a lot of my former clients and people that I see say, Ashley, I messed my hair up. I messed my bangs up. I messed it up. And I was like, that's what you get for trying to be, you know, a, a sheer genius and not getting your hair professionally trimmed. That's one of the things that I recommend. Y'all got to leave that to the professionals. But I love y'all to death. Now to smooth everything out, I did use a few drops of my serum and I'm not showing you guys the labels because this is going to be new, new and I can't like, I just can't let y'all see all of the goodies. Okay. We're using the Babyliss one and a half inch flat irons. Again, these are my favorite to curl with, but this time we're not going to do the roller set like we did in the last video. We're going to be doing pin curls. I think this might be a little easier for those that want to hold the curl. So I'm going in and I did a diagonal part in the back. I'm just lifting my hair up to create the volume, letting it flow through. And then I'm going to use a long clip to hold it in place. And then you're going to do the same thing to the other side. You notice how every single curl that I'm doing is going back. And you can also see, like I said before, I'm telling my hair what to do. I'm taking my time. My parts are somewhat neat. And I'm making sure that every single curl is going back. You don't want the Easter curls. You don't want the Grandma Sunday curls. You want the 2023. You don't want the 1993s. Okay, it's 2023. Let's curl this away from our face so that, you know, our our hair will be flowing in the wind. To me, you have to be able to master the front. The front of the hair is the most important. I'm using a little bit of hairspray. And again, I'm just curling my hair away from my face and rolling it with my finger and putting that pin on. And then after you have that last clip, put on that bonnet, chill, do whatever you need to do. That, you want to go ahead and take those pin curls out, girl, because the baddie has arrived you look good you feel good your hair is fluffy and do y'all see how much volume we have let me know in the comments how much you guys love this video and don't forget to like subscribe follow me on instagram and don't forget to sign up for my amazing rebrand peace out